Hello everybody, sorry that I haven't seen you guys for a few months, It, but I have been reading the entire time, I promise, pinky swear. Anyways, um, it's me Cole, I'd like to get back into book reviews, and we're going to start with the Contemporary Intellectual Assessment 4th Edition. I'm kidding, I'm kidding guys, come on, so this is what I do that. Anyways, so a couple months ago, I borrowed the Hunger Games trilogy from a friend, and they were very, very good. And for Christmas, I got this. It's called The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. It's kind of like a prequel to the Hunger Games trilogy. Well, the Hunger Games, they take place in the future, and it's about this country called Panem, and it's made up of a one capital ringed by 12 districts. And the capital is like the boss, the, the big one. And the districts are kind of like slaves. They do things that supply the capital. For example, District 12 supplies all the coal that powers everything. And to keep the districts in line, the capital has come up with this horrible, horrible plan. What it is, um, every year, the capital takes two kids, ranging from 12 to 18, and they take them all to fight to the death. There's only one victor, and, and the victor, their um, district, gets showered with money and food. Who doesn't love food? So, District 12 is where Katniss Everdeen lives. Now, District 12 is like the poorest of the districts, the poorest of the poorest. So, Katniss Everdeen illegally hunts to supply her family with food. She often sells the things that she kills or catches, whatever you want to call it. So, anyways, this puts her in a good position to go to the Hunger Games because she has skill with a bow and arrow. And so, anyways, her sister, Primrose Everdeen, gets chosen to go to the Hunger Games. And Katniss doesn't want that to happen, so she volunteers to go instead. Then, the Hunger Games start. Dun, dun, dun. So, so tell a little bit about what the capital's like, though. So the capital has so much money, it has so much food. Everybody there is, like, rich. Very rich. So... And, and do they watch the Hunger Games? What's... Yes, the Hunger Games is, and this is like the saddest part, everybody has to watch it unless you're like sick or dying or dead. And so it's watched for entertainment. 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 So, the arena, it's kind of like... Well, you have to know that the capital has amazing technology. So they just construct an arena, like for example, in this arena, it's like forests, a lot of forests. So anyways, the capital can do things like make traps. Like if you step on a rock, an entire landslide falls on you, or they can just like press a button and then a wall of fire goes throughout the forests. Not only battling the other tributes, which is what they're called, you're battling the elements, nature. Anyways, so these 24 kids are just plop in the arena. And the boy tribute from District 12, he and Katniss have a kind of love story going on. Like, um, the boy tribute's name is PETA. PETA likes Katniss. And he also made this setup before they went into the Hunger Games where everybody's like feeling bad for the two of them. And, um, because he says that they're having, because he says that they're in love and they, and like the capital wants, but only one of them can come out alive. There's only one victor. You can call me on that later if you want. And Kat, this is kind of like a rebel. So basically, anything she does along the way are small, 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 small things to defy the capital. 
a new twist comes to the game. It is announced that, um, that the tributes from the same districts can team up, and if, both of, and if they both um, are alive at the end, they will win together. Now, that's a twist, because that means now Katniss and Peeta are on the same team. But then, Peeta is gravely injured. So, the games go on, people die, um, people kill each other, until there are three players left. Katniss, Peeta, and one other tribute. Until then, the final other tribute was brutally and slowly killed. Not by Katniss and Pete is doing, of course. And so, until it's just those two. And you think, yay, they won! End of the story. But then the capital's like, yeah, um, there's only one victor now. You can go kill each other. And so, then after that, in one final act of defiance, Pete and Katniss are going to eat very poisonous berries so that there's no victor. But at the last second, the capital's like, okay, okay, you win. You can, like, both be victors. So, hooray, they both won. But now they are in big, big, big trouble. They're both in big trouble because they defied the capital. They kind of, hint, hint, spark the idea that the capital can't um, doesn't have everything in their power. Well, yeah, the capital gets mad, but they get off easy i guess you would say and so they go back to district 12 and live happily ever after not actually but that is the end of book one and if we like get let's say like 10 likes then we'll do a book two so all in all i really like this book because just the characters they're so deep that they're they're so they have very deep characters and there are just so many good plot twists, like the teaming up, and the unteaming up, and the berries. And so all in all, it was a, an amazing book. I think that you should read it. Also, I know my friend Whitney has read this book. I would like to hear her opinion on it. Yes, Whitney, that is another challenge. Yeah, um, the movie's great. However, um, it's not as good as the book. You can watch the movie if you want, but the book is better. And until next time, stay smart and keep reading.